Erin, where are we? Great Smoky Mountains. Great Smoky Mountains. Have you smoked any mountains? No. How do you know they're great? Um, that's just what they're all. Oh. In previous videos, I've used the term lush. I was wrong. This is lush. The greenery is growing on top of other greenery. This is pretty fancy. All right, we are here. Great Smoky Mountain National Park. And we're doing the stamping. Here, I'll hold this. This is what it looks like. A whole lot of blue on this one. That was pretty good. It doesn't have a date on it though. That one doesn't? No. That's nope, you do several. This one does. Okay. That was not a straight up and down stamping motion, Terry. <laughs> hey, it looks good though. That was Look, good. you can totally read it. Good job. This is Taryn getting a pep talk on our trip. <laughs> Why? Because we did a red eye flight to get here. We did. And so Taryn's feeling the feeling the red eye effect, which we all understand. Yep. And this is pretty awesome. We shouldn't go here. Taryn just said it. Taryn, <laughs> this is pretty nice, isn't it? It's so pretty. Holy cow. This is just behind the visitor center, but there's four visitor centers. So this, oh boy, I'm going to try to say it. Okanalufti River Trail because this is the Okanalufti Visitor Center and we are here on July 4th weekend. Taryn doesn't want to do anything. She doesn't want to touch the water. Taryn, you want to breathe? Yeah. No. Heather needs to touch the water. Yeah. Oh yes, water temperature. I forgot. It's one of the key metrics. Utah water is colder. Okay, because we couldn't hear anything you said way over oh, there. Utah water is colder. Okay. Much colder. So it's been weighed, it's been measured, and been found wanting. <laughs> this is the mountain farm walk. And look, they have a little cabin. They even have a chicken. There's a chicken in the yard. Kentucky. Didn't want to get fried. <laughs> well... Karen's not participating, but she is laughing, so that's good. There is an audio tour, at least I bet it's awesome. However, we don't think they're handing them out due to COVID. So we'll have to uh, do the audio tour some other day. What do you think? <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> they had a chicken house, that little one. This bigger barn was an apple barn, and that's a little apple orchard behind them. They made molasses over in that contraption there, which is now a beehive. beehive. And so all these little buildings had a purpose in supporting the family. So that's pretty cool. We're learning stuff. Yeah. Yeah, what are you learning? Taryn needs sleep, that's what she learned. And here we have a blacksmith shop. Because why not? And takeaway, I think I'm thankful for all the things I have. Yes. There you go. Modern amenities. Well, we just enjoyed our little walk around yeah, this mountain farm at the visitor center. Yeah. Worth a few minutes of your time, interesting stuff. What are we doing? We're gonna go look at the, a mill that used to ground the corn and the wheat into flour. And now it's just obviously set up for exhibition purposes. It's been around since 1886, so long time. Using the power of water, it's always a good idea. Taryn, you've been drinking water today. Good, you're using the power of water. Good job. There is a lot of water here. <laughs> wow. So we're uh, coming up on this oh, it's, building here. No smoking or pets. All I saw was smoking pets. No smoking or pets. Not smoking Not your pets. Smoking pets. <laughs> so here is the waterworks that they built to divert the water. And that is pretty, pretty 
Ingenious engineering, I would say. I saw a meme on Facebook that I want you to answer. It said, what is one food that you think of or that immediately reminds you of your dad? I don't know. First thing that comes to mind. Spicy pizza. <laughs> Spicy pizza. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. <laughs> I don't think I even eat spicy pizza, but now I know. So here is the stream. Perfected. How high that is. It is a little trippy. But then there's that pipe in the ground. Uh -huh. And that pipe goes over to the turbine, which links up to the stones that it turns. Taryn is going to tell us what she just learned at the old grist mill because there were these two older guys that went on and on and told us everything we could possibly know about the history of it, how the mill worked, uh, turbines and motors and gears. Okay, Taryn, what'd you learn? Nothing. I wasn't listening. <gasps> she wasn't listening. We were literally there for like 35 minutes while that guy talked. And she didn't listen. It's okay. She'll go to school and pay someone to teach her that stuff. It'll yeah. be fine. <laughs>